or what did you make of the penalty that changed the game? I just spoke to Craig Charlie there, well, just not, not long after the game, and asked him what he saw. And I respect the referees, no, no, no problem there. I just think the, in big moments and big games, I think you've got to be 100 percent right to call them, especially in the magnitude of the, of the game. It was a game changer. The penalty definitely changed the, the course of the game because a couple of minutes earlier we hit the post, and the, we were well in the game. I thought we played. You know what, I thought we played great and um, I couldn't ask any more, but th I think the first penalties, it's uh, pretty soft. You obviously felt there was con contact with the ball first. Yeah, and, and I saw the I saw the replays. I know we've got the benefit of the, the replay and, the, and, and Craig doesn't. And he calls it, he says, but I just think big moments you have to, you have to be so, so precise that it's that it is a penalty. Well, at least, um, from his angle, he, he just thought it was really that, that space. That was, I know it's a difficult job they have, and, but it doesn't help their situation. Paul, well, did it surprise you that after going the goal down, it seemed like towards the end, the players just sort of lost their way a little bit? Did you, were you hoping they might react a bit better to Paul? <laughs> <the game? laughs> You're an Arsenal fan? No. No. Uh, I thought we were brilliant. We came here against a team that's, that's in the top six and has been for a number of years. We never deserved to lose a game, let alone three, I didn't think. Yeah, the, the goal gives you a, a little bit of a hat, but performance-wise, I couldn't ask any, any more from them. And uh, so to answer your question, I couldn't ask any more. So you don't think it'd be difficult to get them back up? No, no, I've never, I've never found it difficult to, to lift them. I've came here in, in won games, and I've came here and drew, I've not played as well as that uh, here, and uh, I'm pretty sure the way we performed gives everybody great, great hope that we can, we can finish in the, in the league. Do you, do you think the results are overly flattering for Arsenal, given the performances of both teams? Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, I do. I think three 0 was as we never deserved the three 0 there. I, d I don't think that was that was right reflection of the game. The first goal was always going to be crucial. As I said, we we hit the post just before it. Seidel's had a chance, Badu's had a chance, Shaq had a chance in the first half. But it's the only thing that's missing from our game at the minute is Lady Luck. And, and teams need it, players need it, everybody needs it. At the minute, we've just no, no had it. How, how confident are you that you will still stay up? 100%. I, I thought that when I came in, and nothing's changed my mind that, that we're not going to uh, do it. We, we, as I said, the only thing I think is missing, Charlie, is the luck. Everything else, performance-wise, has been excellent. Bar a penalty save at Brighton, we'd have had three points. Leicester, we'd, we should have had three points. So it's been really good games that we've, we should have took more points out, out of. Paul, was it incidents like today that make you believe there has to be video technology in the Premier League? You talk about VAR? Yeah, VAR, yeah. Well, I've seen VAR work. And I said before, I, I, I saw it in Germany working with Bayern and Leverkusen, and it worked seamlessly, absolutely no problem at all. We bring it over here, and, uh, and it seems to be confusing, confusing. I think in these sort of instances, absolutely. Because the way the game's going, I think the big calls, the referees need, maybe need a little bit of help as well. And I think the big ones can certainly help it. Did, did the referee say whether he'd seen a replay? What, Craig say to you that he'd seen a replay and that sort of on second viewing you can see where, you, where you're going to flip. During the game, you mean? Or no, wait, 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 no, he hadn't saw it. No, no, he, he hadn't saw it. How good a second penalty, by the way, from another game? What's that? Did you have a view on the second penalty? Yeah. It, it, listen, if the second one, the way the modern game, game's going, you've got to be really careful to stay in, in your feet in the, in the penalty box. Whether bad news, I think it was when Dio said that, they, they, they try to go for it. When you go, if you want to call it a hard challenge, which I don't even think it was a hard challenge, and uh, but you, you run the risk of giving it. What did you make of uh, Jack Butland's performance today? Do you think he should? How do you think uh, Gareth Southgate might look at the fight of the team in relation to his own selection? I thought Butland was excellent. I thought his handling was great. I thought he had a great save. And in, in the second half, first half, I don't think he had much to do. 
If you ask me, do I think Gareth should make him his number one? That would be Gareth's choice. But I know one thing for sure, he'll not let anybody down. He's a top, top goalkeeper.